Toddler dies of measles in Jerusalem, in first such incident in 15 years. The toddler belonged to an ultra-Orthodox family from the radical Neture Carter sect in Jerusalem's Meir Shiram neighborhood. Here's a summary of the article. An 18-month-old toddler has died of measles in Jerusalem, the first recorded death from measles in the past 15 years. According to officials at the capital's Sharay Zedek Hospital, the infant was not vaccinated against the virulently contagious disease. The girl may have contracted the disease from her parents, both of whom were diagnosed with measles and neither of whom had been vaccinated. Measles has made an aggressive return this year in the Israeli population, with the largest spread 753 known infections, recorded in Jerusalem's ultra-Orthodox community due to a refusal by some radical segments of the community to be vaccinated. In an interview with Hadashot Television News, Bar Seaman Tov said officials don't want to start talking about sanctions, but if we see a danger to the population because of people who won't vaccinate, then we will look into the possibility that such a child will not be allowed to go to school. Bar Seaman Tov noted that the vast majority of ultra Orthodox families vaccinate, and said the large pockets of measles outbreaks in Jerusalem and SAFT are caused by only a small segment of the community. According to Professor Shai Ashkenazi, director of the Israeli Pediatric Society, measles was on the cusp of extinction, but because of a decline in vaccination has made a big comeback. In Europe, too, in the first half of 2018 there were more than 41,000 incidents of infection with at least 37 deaths. This post received a score of 8,589, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. For those who are not aware, Neturei Carter are the most extreme sect of Judaism more or less the Jewish equivalent of Westbra. There's been a big outbreak in the ultra-Orthodox community in Rockland County, New York, too. Wonder if it's the same source. Definitely the same source. Quote, the child flew into Newark Liberty International Airport in New Jersey from Israel on September 28, 2018, and then traveled to several places in Rockland County, New York, officials said. End quote, on mobile so don't feel like dealing with linking but the source is Fox 5. People who promote anti-vax bullshit should be charged with accessory to murder. Murder requires intent in most countries. You'd have to prove they intended to kill the child. That is a high standard. What you're looking for would best fit under manslaughter. Criminal negligence causing death is a type of manslaughter in some jurisdictions. Not in every jurisdiction. Recklessness is capable of being intent in Australia. For e.g. if I drive my truck through a pub and someone dies, I can't say I didn't intend to kill people, because I was reckless indifferent about it and will be charged with murder. I'm not saying that would apply here but law is designed to be argued about and interpreted. Many jurisdictions have different ways of getting good outcomes, it's all a matter of interpretation and working with what you've got. Ah, the case of the reckless trucker and the pub, takes me back to Crim 101 can't remember the citation for the life of me. Why is this tagged Israel-Palestine when it has nothing to do with water going on between them? Because apparently the conflict is the only issue either country faces. This is the best TLDR I could make, original, greater than measles has made an aggressive return this year in the Israeli population, with the largest spread 753 known infections, recorded in Jerusalem's ultra-Orthodox community due to a refusal by some radical segments of the community to be vaccinated. Greater than Bar Simon Tov noted that the vast majority of ultra-Orthodox families vaccinate, and said the large pockets of measles outbreaks in Jerusalem and Safed are caused by only a small segment of the community. I feel sorry for the child, whose little life was cut short. Life was cut short because of the poor decisions he did not make for himself. Which is why I have no sympathy for the stupid, credulous parents. Thought that was implicit, but maybe not. If only there was some way to prevent this disease. Serious question, if measles is basically eradicated, where does it hide for it to start jumping out into the public again? I'm fully vaccinated and 100% pro-vaccines, I was just thinking and wondered. Is it literally that one person who brings it into the picture and happens to come into contact, or can it live elsewhere waiting? This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. 
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.